This video is sponsored by Bluestack, the most top rated PC emulator currently in the market, which you can play thousands of mobile games on your PC, not just Racial Legends, from both Android and iOS. It will elevate your mobile game experience to another level. With high performance and high FPS, download now with the link in the description below and let's enjoy gaming. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to make a video showcase Astralon, alright? Because last week during the summoning, summoning event, I just got my fifth Astralon. So I was able to make a Astralon Plus 4. So probably gonna be world's strongest Astralon because not many people in the game use the champion, I would say. Uh, this was used to be a fusion back in, I don't know, early 2021. I, I think this champion was released uh, the same patch. Cardio was released. Very cool looking with the wings. Uh, the review was pretty decent. I think uh, this is definitely one of the above average fusion ch fusion champion. All right. Also, um, she can pair with uh, Countess Legs. Anyways, in this video, I want I just want to showcase this champion as a arena nuker. All right. This is a damage dealer, and uh, the multiplier is not that bad. But I don't see people use this champion at all. All right. Um, the skill are pretty much very straightforward as a damage dealer. Like A one is attack two times, place decrease defense, and A uh, A one is uh, attack two times, place decrease defense. A two is um ignore increase defense, strengthen ally protection, all these type of stuff. But the problem of this skill is um it doesn't ignore defense. All right, uh, I'm thinking like this champion probably has a place in arena, especially against those type of necro teams because necro can place ally protection, strengthen, and shield to that champion, right? So the champion that Necrit protects is so hard to kill, but we can try Astron out to see what happens. Um, then the A3 is remove all buffs if the target is under Veil, perfect Veil, and place stun and deal massive damage. Um, actually, when the new champion Yumiko came out, I was thinking that maybe Astralon can be a great counter to Yumiko because um, Yumiko has a passive that is really strong. Um, let me take a look here. So, she's gonna place perfect veil on this champion for two turns at start or each round, and champion is immune to all debuff. So if you if you think about it, if you use Astralon against this champion, Astralon is gonna remove the perfect veil and place stun. So it's probably really good against Yumiko. Uh, Alright, anyways, let me just show you the gear right away. Um, here. Astralon here. Is this the world's strongest Astralon? If you guys seen a better one, let me know. But this is like my leftover savage gear, right? The speed is really low. The attack is 8,000 attack, right? Because Astronaut has really good um, base attack. For the mastery, uh, I'm, I'm just going with the Helm Smasher and Support Tree. And uh, yeah, that's a very standard nuker build. Um, I didn't really worry about accuracy, but I guess like the, the empowerment just gave me a lot of accuracy. Look at this, Faction Guardian plus 30, empowerment plus 55, so I got 85 extra accuracy after the dupe system. So like this accuracy should be good enough against a non-resistant team. Anyways, let's just get into Arena and see what she can, uh, what this champion can do, alright? Let's try a speed team first. Uh, this is my very standard Arena offense team. Um, CV could be a problem, I feel like. Anyways, let's remove Romanto here. I want to use Necro to protect Astralon, so CV doesn't A1 my Astralon. So, let's go like this. I think my Astralon can one-shot this team easily without defense down. Let's find out. Alright, I'm gonna use A3 here. Wait, alright, that's a reaction proc. Um, it didn't crit. Alright, that's totally fine. See, I think this champion is um, it's not bad, all right. Definitely a above average new king champion. All right, this one could be tricky. Look at this. Look at this empowerment. A very tanky team, but we can do it. All right, I think we can do it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, let me put my Yoshi here. All right, so who should we use next? Let's try to go like this. All right, let's try to go like this. Let me put up increase. Alright. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> Revive on death. Really annoying. Alright. Can I get a turn here? My Astralon. 
Let's do the A3. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, they all got revived. That's so sad. Uh, who should we kill here? Let's try to kill Cardio here. I don't want to see Cardio. Very decent damage. Like, Mithrala is so good in Arena. Not gonna lie. I feel like there are at least like 30% of Platinum Arena players that are using Mithrala on their defense. Especially pairing with uh, Rodo's team. Mithrala is so good. Alright, get me out of here. Just die, please. Alright. Actually, I want to try to find a Necrit team. Alright, let's try this one. Uh, this team's pretty annoying, I would say. This should be a very fast CV. So, um, let's try this. Alright. My Yoshi is slower than Warlord, but that's fine because Yoshi has a very good passive that allow me to go first. Wow, Stone Skin CV. Actually, never seen that before. Alright. Damn. <laughs> I really hate CV A1. Alright, I think I'm gonna lose here. I can't even take a turn. So, yeah, I hate CV A1. Let me. Alright, actually, let me take out Yoshi. I'm gonna go like this. Alright. Let's see. I don't think I need uh, increased accuracy because I can use Romantu as lead. Have a great aura. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, can I just take a turn, please? Can I take a turn? I want to target Rolos. Alright, let's just A3 anyways. Boom. Get me out of here. Not just doing damage, alright? Also has an AoE stun. Especially like, those type of new damage dealing champion um, benefits the most if, he can, uh, if they can put some type of debuff. Because uh, empowerment really gives them a lot of extra accuracy. Alright, let me try this one. Um, I re I'm, I'm really interested in a uh, testing team like this, alright? I want to try Astralon's A, um, A2 against the champion that Necro protects. Because uh, Astralon's A2 can ignore ally protection and strengthen. Uh, let me put up my immunity arbiter and Kaimar. And on this team, I will need a Necrit to protect me. Let's see. Alright, that. Damn! <laughs> alright, alright. That's kind of unlucky. Uh, this dude's Kaimar is insanely fast, I guess. Let me try again. How fast is this Kaimar? That's crazy. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. That's getting weird. That is actually getting weird. Um, I'm just, uh, I just wanted to do a showcase. This is not gonna be my normal offense team. Uh, let's just, uh, let me just go with my. Triple Speed Arbiter, hoping for Hegemon, not hitting me. Alright, that's more like it. Alright, I just want to do a showcase, alright? See if I can one-shot the Tronda here with Necro Protection. And if I hit Tronda, it's gonna be a massive shield here. Let's see if I can kill Tronda. Look at that. That is with Ally Protection, alright? Maybe uh, you guys can come up with a better team setup. Look at that. Alright, it should be a one shot here. Look at that damage. It can ignore a strengthen and ally protection, alright? Um see if I can find more Necro team. I want to I I want this team to be like a Necro killer, alright? Because a lot of times if they use a stone skin necro, it's really annoying because you can't strip the Necrit, the champion that Necrit protects, it's not gonna die. Alright? I don't this is a baseline Kaimar, so I don't think this dude is gonna be that fast. Alright. Let's see this. 
ally protection Tronda. Let's kill it with ally protection. Boom. Look at that. See? Like, this is really hard to kill. Only Astralon can do this, I feel like. Kill a, ch a champion with ally protection. So, um, anyways, let's try this one. Uh, this was my reset arena defense. This is probably the best defense currently in the game. Alright, this is really tricky. This is gonna be really tricky, alright. So, let's try to... Um, what shall we do here? It's hard to say. Alright, let's try... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like this. And, uh, let's try to go like this. Alright, see what happens. I'm not gonna have attack up. Alright, they go first, that's great. I want them to go first, take their turns. And see if I can kill Rodos like this. Look at that! Alright? Look at that damage. This is without attack up. Let's do put some debuff on Sifi. Uh, let's kill Sifi like this. Can I kill Sifi? Uh, not enough damage, but that's fine. All right. Wolf. Uh, let's do the A three. Boom! Look at that. All right, guys. If you're a platinum pusher, that's how you beat a defense like this. All right. That's basically my reset defense, and I'm showing you guys how to beat it. <laughs> With an Astralon. Well, technically it can be any nuker, but if it's other nuker, probably you're not gonna kill Rolos with Necrit's ally protection. It's a little bit hard. But Necrit can just ignore ally protection and stuff like that. Uh, the A1, I feel like the A1 um, doesn't really do enough damage, but the A2 and A3 is really good. Look at that, that's A3 AoE hit, 160,000 damage. And uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's enough for the showcase. Overall, I think this is a top tier nuker. Definitely like, probably between the top 5 to top 10 range in terms of uh, damage dealing champion, AoE damage dealing champion. I think he is within like, um, probably number five to number eight somewhere between between that definitely not top three because there are just a uh, better choice like trona or, or, or leo wrist are just better than this champion but this is not a bad champion um definitely top tier if you guys uh have some dupes don't feel bad if you want to empower him because he can definitely be your arena damage dealer no joke all right very good multiplier and very high base attack and uh yeah, I think that's basically it. Uh, in this video, I didn't um, pair him with Countess Lix because uh, I, I I don't have Countess Lix geared, but um, I just don't see people use the champion at all in Arena, I mean. So yeah, anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And I hope you guys enjoy this type of pay to win content. So subscribe if you want to see more pay to win content like this. And until next time, bye.